Hi everyone, I'm Professor Wilson Kamami, and my YouTube channel is also called Professor Wilson Kamami. Here we are looking at ungroup data in our unit called Statistic, and we, as we agreed, this channel is here to simplify mathematics. So we are here to simplify mathematics together. So you find that it is simple to calculate variance, it is simple to calculate the standard deviation, and since we have done the other four video, this is the fourth video on statistic for ungrouped data. So the first video you are able to look at mean, mean division and coefficient of mean division. So and in the second video you are able to look at age, mode and coefficient of age. Then the third one we are able to look at median quartile, quartile division, quartile de, de, qu quartiles and quartile division and the coefficient of the same quartile division. So today we are looking at variance and the standard division. So how do we calculate variance? Variance we calculate the sum of x minus x bar and in this case this we said it's our arithmetic mean all over n. Over that one squared then over n. So you realize that the standard division is just the square root of variance. So we, our main focus is on how do we calculate variance. You may find that in some books you may find they are using n minus one, but you find that the, the, significant, the value will be very significant on the same. So in this case, we are here to calculate variance. I have given you the example that we have been using. You have been given this data, and you are required to calculate the variance. I have said my main attention will be variance because I know when you have variance, you can get the standard division, just the square root of variance. So in this case, I've been given you, you my data. There are eight data, 6, 7, 10, 3, 12, 14. The first thing I said, if you are given this kind of data and group data, arrange them. 3, 6, 7, 8, 10, 12, 12, and 14. So these are your data now. The first thing we need to calculate is our arithmetic mean. And we say this is summation of x all over n. So you add 3 plus 6 plus 7 plus 8 plus 10 plus 12 plus 12 plus 14 all over n. How many data do we have? So you get the summation is 72 all over 8. And we said you are getting 9. That's how my mean. The reason why I'm calculating mean again is because we need it. Because the main thing that should guide you is our formula. And you find this kind of question. When you have this formula, you are guided by this formula that you need a my mean, arithmetic mean. You need x minus that one. So I need to arrange my data. Maybe I can write x. My data, they are 3, 6, 7, 8, 10, 12, 12, and 14. Here we are going slowly. I need x minus my arithmetic mean. So I'm going slowly by slowly for the sake of you student, because we are, we, we are here to simplify. So my mean, remember, my mean is 9. So we are taking 3 minus 9, you get minus 6. 6 minus 9, you get minus 3. 7 minus 9, you get minus 2. 8 minus 9, you get minus 1. 10 minus 9, 1. 12 minus 9, 3. 3 again, 14 minus 9, you get 5. But remember, in my formula, I need x minus x bar squared. So I need to square this one. So I need x minus x bar squared. You may find other book using maybe giving this one d or m, where they give m is x minus x bar. So it, you just need m squared. So in this case, I need to square this one. I'll get that 6. I'll get 9, I'll get 4, 1 squared, you'll get 1, 1, 9, 9, and 25. And you realize that the summation of this one, x minus x bar squared, what is the summation of this one? We need to add this one. And you realize that when you add this one now, that will be 50, because this will be 45, 50, 60, 60 plus 25, you get 85 plus 9, you get 94. So you get 94. So that is the summation of x minus x. But because it means you add that column, they add all those data, you add them, you get 94. I hope I'm getting the correct answer is 94. So in that case now, my variance, 
variance will be 94 because it is this dimension of x minus x bar squared. The summation of that one you have gotten is 94. So it will be 94 all over my data. I had eight data and you'll be able to get the variance is 11.75. And when you get the variance is 11.75, you can be able to get the standard deviation, which will be the square root of variance, which will be square root of 11.75. And you get 3 point something, 3.4278. So you can just approximate is 3.43. It's OK. So that's how we get the standard deviation. But our main focus is on variance because when you have variance, it's just the square root of variance. So you may find in some books they are using n minus 1. Uh, and that one will be clearly explained. I uh, will explain that one later. Why we use that one n minus 1 and when we don't use n minus 1. That one will be on the theory part of the statistic where we need to learn on sample, the sample size and the like. So in that case, that's how we get the variance. And that's how we get the standard deviation. As you can see, it's very simple. You only need to calculate your arithmetic mean. Then you get one data minus arithmetic mean. That data minus arithmetic mean. That data minus arithmetic mean. Then you square the data you are getting. In this case, I got minus 6, minus 6 squared. Then I squared this one, I squared that one. Then the total of that column is what I'm calling the summation of that column. And my column is x minus x bar squared. So when you get the summation of that one, you replace in your formula. 94 over n, how many data do we have? 8. And that's how we get the variance. That's how we get the standard deviation now after getting the variance. So as we agreed, and as you have witnessed now, you realize that statistics is not hard. Mathematics is not hard. It's just the mentality. And because we have now this YouTube channel, we agreed we are here to simplify mathematics together. So I expect now the next class I will be able to handle questions. So if you have questions, leave them in a comment section. If you leave them in a comment section, then I will be able to handle those questions. I will have another class where I will be able to handle all those questions for ungrouped data, but I will combine them with the group data. So that's mark the head of our ungrouped data class for statistics, but not because you can get more and more questions on the same. But for us, that's our first class. So the next class, which will be our fifth class on statistics, we shall look at now on group data. But I'll start by how do we prepare the frequency distribution? How do we prepare frequency distribution? You are given this kind of data. You may be given 40 data. How do you come up with the frequency distribution? Then when you are given frequency distribution, maybe where for those who don't remember, you are given 6 to 10, 11 to 15. You are given the frequency how do we come up with this frequency distribution? I'll show you how we come up with the frequency distribution. Then you'll be using one frequency distribution to calculate all what we have done. How do we calculate mean? How do we calculate mode? How do we calculate median? Because majority, they don't know how we calculate even the mode of group data. I'll show you all that one in our next videos on statistics. Thank you for watching. Continue commenting, leaving questions there so that we can simplify mathematics together. If you don't leave those kind of questions, I will assume it's simple to you. So leave those questions on my comment section. If you understood, you can comment. You, had, you have understood the, the topic or where you need us to improve. You can leave them in comment. Remember, I also have my WhatsApp. It is there in my YouTube. You can check my email if you want to reach me personally so that I can be able to answer those questions within. We agreed within 24 hours I will be able to answer those questions. So thank you and continue enjoying how we are simplifying mathematics together. Thank you.